So, welcome back to the Anime and Manga News for the week ending March 2nd, 2012. Starting with some great news for Studio Ghibli and anime fans in general. Um, according to box office Mojo, The Secret World of Ariyaki has now earned a total of $15,268,380, which pushes it past Ponyo's total box office, making it the uh, highest grossing Studio Ghibli film in the U.S. ever, and the fifth highest closing anime film in U.S. history. So yes, it is doing very well, and if you want to go out there and support it more, it would be great to have more folks supporting anime in theater. It would be an awesome thing. Um, also in Studio Ghibli news, on the other side of the pond, though, or I guess the other pond, um, the latest Studio Ghibli film from up on Poppy Hill has won the, uh, the Japanese Academy Prize, basically the Japanese Academy Awards for Best uh, uh, Animated Motion Picture. Uh, not a big surprise, though, because they were going up against Detective Conan, Quarter of Silence, Tofu Kozo, whatever that is, um, the, uh, the Buddha film, the uh, Assembly Tetsuka like Buddha film, and the k film. So, the fact that the Academy gave the Studio Ghibli film the, the award, not a big shock there. Moving on to some manga news that turned a lot of heads this week. J Manga, a site for reading manga online, but legitimately and legally, um, has now made itself, made itself, itself accessible worldwide. So even if you're not in the U.S. and Canada, you can uh, buy and read uh, all sorts of manga on J Manga, and it is, it is out there. It's a little expensive, but it certainly is one way of doing it. And um, uh, it is pretty darn cool. And they, they currently, like, as in right now, are doing a special promotion where if you sign up, you get double points that you normally get. Basically, you, you buy things as points on the site. So uh, if you want to go over there right now through March 4th, 2012, uh, and sign up, you will get some extra points out of the deal. So that's pretty darn cool. J-Manga originally launched last August with a bunch of titles not in the U.S., but it was U.S. and Canada only. So that's pretty, pretty darn, pretty darn nice to see uh, that out there. Uh, also in manga news, um, the, uh, the iBooks store has added a manga section, which is good for all those iPad owners out there. Um, um, uh, it's also for, um, it, it, it is part of an, an area for comics and graphic novels. And the title seems to be all from Seven Seas Entertainment. Uh, they include some uh, Korean and American produced uh, comics, cosplay guides, things like that, so forth and so on. Um, there's also a pre-order listing for uh, The Melancholy of Harvey Suzumiya, Volume 12. So, you can actually get stuff on there uh, like that. That's, that's pretty, that's awesome actually, that we can get stuff on there. Um, purchases in iBooks are available on any iOS 4 or later Apple device. You can read them again on your iPhone, except the original iPhone and iPod Touch uh, stuff and so forth and so on. Although, why you want to try reading a manga on an iPhone? I don't just... Mm, I tried. It's not a great way of doing it. Um, also in manga news, but still back in, uh, in Japan, uh, the Katakawa Group has announced they've signed a contract with Amazon Japan um, and will be basically be selling a bunch of manga on Kindle, PC, and smartphones, ebook versions of a bunch of their titles. Um, and the thing is, this is uh, these are potentially light novels. Uh, besides just manga. So that includes stuff from Katakawa Shoten, Asti Media Works, Enterbrain, Katakawa Gakuge, Chupan, Fujimi Shobo, and Media Factory. So those are some pretty heavy hitters out there. Um, and uh, it's pretty cool. Also, Amazon gets to, gets to decide on prices. Which is usually good for consumers because Amazon gets to really low prices. So that's pretty awesome that we should be seeing some stuff over there. Um, Meanwhile, still over in Japan, the sixth annual Seiyu Award winners were announced. I know there's a few of them. Best lead actor went to Hiroaki Hirata, who was in Tiger and Bunny, Air Gear, and One Piece, uh, amongst many others. Uh, the best lead actor went to Aoi Yuki, who was in Madoka Magica, A Channel, and Ben Po, and many others. Best supporting actor was Ryohei Kimura, uh, who was in Haganai, Angel Beat, and Eden of the East. Uh, also, uh, went to Memoro Miyano from Gundam Double O, Death Note, and Antique Bakery. Best Supporting Actress was Emilie Tato, who also worked on Madoka Magica, Black Butler, and Darker Than Black. So that's good for them. Uh, a bunch of other awards for various other um, um, sales. So that's cool. 
Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's, let's stay in Japan for a little bit. Kyoto Animation has posted a 20-second commercial um, for its upcoming line of super deformed figures for the K-1 anime film. You can watch it over on ANN. And uh, basically just a bunch of little stop motion super deformed K-1 characters. A little creepy, but hey, whatever. You need to see stop motion. Stop motion is awesome. We should see more stop motion stuff. Um, let's stay on the Kyoto Animation thing and move over to Haruhi Suzumiya. There's been an announcement that there will be a new Haruhi Suzumiya manga, but it will be a super deformed one. This is just, just like the uh, uh, Haruhi Suzumiya Chan um, and other things, or the Suzumiya Haruhi Chan stuff. There will now be a new one, the intrigue of Itsuki Koizumi. So Itsuki will get his own manga set off. It will be a super deformed one. Uh, and it will be starting on April 18th. So we'll get some. Hopefully some fun Ichiki stories. I can't imagine what they're going to do with Ichiki, but whatever. Uh, moving back over, tell us how straddling both Japan and America. Ridley Scott, yeah, Ridley Scott, the director guy, has announced he's going to work on a project called Japan in a Day, which will seek to chronicle 24 hours in Japan on March 11, 2012, the one-year anniversary of the Tohoku earthquake and tsunami. Um, so Ridley Scott is planning on that. And um, that is pretty cool. Now, um, it should be pointed out this is being done by Ridley Scott's production company. Um, hard to say how, how closely he'll be involved in that, but that's pretty darn cool. So that's all of the major news fit for anime and manga this week, and that's it for the news this week. Thanks for watching.